Hey guys, Bushcraft 412. Making a whole bunch of videos today, so hope you guys enjoy them all. You're really trying to get back to work and get this channel going again. I've been kind of slacking lately, so what I want to do is answer uh, one of my uh, frequently asked questions that I get on my channel, and that is where do I get food grade buckets and what do I recommend? I typically stick with the Lowe's buckets. I have bought the Home Depot orange bucket, which isn't food grade, by the way, and uh, some of the Walmart buckets and all that, but these Lowe's ones are uh, food grade, and the actual prices on them are the same, well, they're a little bit more than, uh, you know, some of, the, some of the counterparts out there. And Lowe's right now has two food grade buckets that they're offering. I'm gonna show you both of them, and I just gotta put a, a warning out there. There's a lot of bad information on, like, survival forums and, and uh, things like that, and you'll read a lot of people say, oh, the Lowe's um, buckets are not food grade. Well, yeah, that was true back in like 2009 when the person originally wrote the post, but they've changed their stock. Things change with companies. And you have to bear in mind when you read these, uh, you know, these posts on, uh, on forums that lots of times the information is dated or possibly that the person giving the information is just incorrect. It does happen. But both of these, as you can see, contain food grade warnings. This uh, clear bucket here, which is a measuring bucket, five gallon with a nice foam padded handle, has a uh, food grade symbol and BPA free. This one over here, which is just the plain white guy, has uh, food grade heavy duty BPA free. Now, no matter what I do, I hate making videos about food grade stuff because there's always someone who argues with me that no plastic is truly food grade, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's such a headache, and I can make a 30-minute video on it, but you know what? Whether you choose to use food grade buckets or not is up to you. I'm just putting the information out there as to where I get them, and Lowe's is what I tend to use because, number one, these buckets are pretty cheap. I'll show you my receipt here. You can see we have the uh, gaskets with lid are two bucks a piece. The measuring buckets are five bucks, a little bit expensive, but the uh, normal white ones are four dollars. So you're talking about um, six or seven dollars a bucket. If you buy them online after shipping, you're going to pay more. So in reality, I do like to buy them from Lowe's. Um, if I'm going to be storing food in them and I'm going to be using Mylar bags, Sometimes I will cheap out and go with a non-food grade bucket, but I do use a, uh, a Mylar food bag, you know, food safe Mylar bag in between the bucket and that, just to help prevent, give an extra layer of protection because, you know, how food, or how food grade these might be, I don't know. I didn't manufacture them, so, you know, if you got the, uh, the Mylar bags, extra protection can never hurt you. Um, the lids that Lowe's have are actually my favorite because as you can see they have a white gasket in there But they also have these tops that lock on once you put these onto the bucket They lock in place and you actually have to tear this uh, Along here and rip it off in order to get the bucket off so once these seal It's actually very difficult to get the lid off you actually have to rip this whole outer edge right off You can see it's kind of perforated a little bit but you have to rip that whole thing off in order to get it off so I do like, okay, there it is right there. That lets you peel it off. You have to peel it the whole way around in order to get it out that bucket once you seal it down. So I do like those Lowe's lids. I have not seen those same lids at Home Depot or Walmart. Your local store may carry them. I don't know. I'm not omnipresent, so I can't tell you. I'm just telling you guys, you know, the question I get is where do I get my food grade buckets? Lowe's is typically where I get them. Um, be careful and make sure you look at the buckets and make sure they do have those food grade stickers because if not Lowe's does sell plain white buckets that are not food grade so double check make sure and here's the information for the manufacturing if someone's interested in that I know there's always someone who's going to pick this apart and say well it's not really food grade because blah 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 blah, blah. you know but pretty much the uh, HDPE is essentially a food grade plastic as long as you do not store any chemicals in it or inject any dyes or harmful materials into them. So generally, you know, I will use the HDPE buckets, but uh, when it comes to food, I do prefer that it be actual food grade so you know you're not harming yourself with uh, 
toxins or chemicals or dyes or anything like that. So it never hurts to be safe. So guys, use use you know use your best judgment if you really are looking to store food long term. Spend the extra buck or two. Get a good food grade bucket. Spend the money. You know the extra buck or two won't kill you. And uh, use a mylar food bag. Those food bags are you know fifty cents to a buck a piece. You know won't hurt you. So there you go, guys. Plenty of sources out there. I know a lot of people get these for free. A lot of people get them all over the place. But I got a crying baby, so we are going to cut this short and hope you enjoyed.